Flag up waiting for us to and they're off. For the lead, a firm break sharply on the inside, Seattle Slew on the outside. Then it's Darby Creek Road followed by Nasty and Bold. As they move for the main track, the leader is Seattle Slew by two. A firm to second by one length. On the outside, Darby Creek Road, third a half. Nasty and bold in fourth by one. Then it's Cox's Ridge and finally Upper Nile along the inside. An even 24 seconds for the first quarter, relatively slow. It's slew in front by two and a half. Affirmed in good position, second by one length. Nasty and bold third ahead with Upper Nile closer in fourth. Darby Creek Road on the outside is fifth, and Cox's Ridge is the trailer. Only seven lengths separates the first horse and the last into the turn. 47 seconds, a half mile with Slew still in front. He leads it two and a half, maintaining the same margin. Affirmed to second by three quarters with Nasty and Bold third by two and a half. Cox's Ridge on the outside moves up a bit. Darby Creek Road, they're all driving, but they've got Seattle Slew to catch as they come to the head of the stretch. Three quarters in ten and one, and it's Seattle Slew holding the lead in the center of the racetrack. He's made it three and a half lengths. Affirmed is taking up the chase on the inside, but it's still Seattle Slew who's holding on. Nearing the finish, Seattle Slew has it by four. Affirmed, far back, nasty and bold. At the wire, it's going to be Seattle Slew. He pulls off the big one, winning it two and a half. Affirmed to second, nasty and bold in third. The other three finished in a virtual dead heat, fourth, fifth, and sixth. That's the way it was as they ran this race wire to wire, Seattle Slew, and he ran the distance in 145 and four.